How to remove Facebook business page reviews in 2019. In this video session, I'm going to show you the options available to you as the business owner who's managing Facebook business page. Now let's imagine there is a review or recommendation someone has left and you believe it shouldn't be on your Facebook business page. What is the process to remove it? Let's go and see. When you're logged into your Facebook business page, press on reviews. Then you have two menu options that will do the same thing. One is you can press on the chat icon and select the option that is relevant to the review in question and then press send. You have three little dots here. You can press on that as well. Press on give feedback on this recommendation and then select an option that's appropriate for the review in question. So that's the process to remove reviews from Facebook. Now, if I select send, will that automatically remove that review? No. Facebook team will um, you know, take control in a sense that they will review your submission to decide if that remove, um, review is inappropriate. I actually did have a few years ago a two-star review someone that I don't know never met has decided to leave two-star review and this person was apparently an SEO guru as well so I actually got that particular re review removed from my Facebook business page because if they've never interacted with me or gotten any services from Rankia how can they review my business Make sense? So these type of things happen, whether it's for you, me, or the next person. Now, keep in mind also, in 2019, Facebook has changed the settings. Now it's called recommendations. So someone recommends your Facebook business page. But let me show you, you know, a couple of years ago, it was called reviews. Make sense? Let's press on the chat icon to see the options available to us as we can see it's basically the same options here it says give feedback on this review I know it's absolutely ridiculous for Facebook to have this kind of user interface for the small business community because it's confusing so whether you're trying to remove the recommendations or you want to remove the reviews it's basically the same thing remember that what else can you do I'll show you a couple of tips and tricks managing your Facebook business page let's press on settings let's press on templates and tabs now once you follow that process I've shown you previously then there is actually another option for you the tabs uh, the things on the left hand side here all these menu options are called tabs templates and tabs option for reviews you can press on settings show reviews tab remember that you're not kind of removing your reviews but rather you're removing the tab from here so you can say you know what I don't want that tab to show up there and then click on save changes okay and then that reviews tab won't show up here so that's an option for you to consider as well what else can you do you can actually if someone has left a comment and that's a bad review you're thinking you know what someone has left a comment and you don't know what to do about it then I'll show you an option to manage that comment because comment spam happens on Facebook all the time. Okay, I'll give you an example of Pina that I'm actually working for her. She's like a friend to me, right? So let's imagine that was a bad comment and it's hurting your business. Then what you can do, you can hover your mouse over here. Because as you can see, if we don't hover our mouse, it's hidden. It's silly, right? 
but that's how it works. So then you would press on this little dot on that comment. You can hide the comment. If you hide it, it's not going to show up. Or in 2019, you can press on moderate comments. Here, if you wanted to say, okay, you know what? I want to remove that comment or the entire comment. You can actually delete comments following this option. So if you were not familiar with it, just hover around this comment area to reveal the three little dots because it's hidden and then moderate the comments accordingly. What else can you do? Managing your Facebook business page. You can press on settings again. Here we have page roles or people and other pages. Let's take a look at that. Let's imagine when you go to this menu option here on your settings, people and other pages, and you do end up seeing that person who left a bad review. And you do it here, you see it here. You can search it. Let's search this fella here who has liked something that I have shared. So you can search the name and to see, you know what? What information does Facebook show me? And then once you find that option, if it's there for you, for that person who left a bad review, then what you can do is press on the settings icon, the gear icon. You can say, remove from page likes. Well, in your example, that probably will not be the case. Because in this example, this person has liked something that I've shared. But I can say, ban from page. Let's press on that. And it's asking me, you know what, would you like to ban whatever, whatever the name? Person who's banned can't post, comment, like, or take other actions on the page. And they won't be notified. Let's press confirm. So that's another option available to you. If you end up searching for that person who left a bad review, search their name and something shows up here. It's actually smart to ban them from page because then they won't be notified. Be Why is that important? That's important because sometimes on internet, the way things work is that it's smart to, you know, silently get rid of someone who's out there on a mission to hurt your business instead of, you know, remove them from page and then Facebook notifies them saying, you know what, this business has removed you. And they get more upset and they'll come and say more untruthful things about your business. So it's smart option then to ban them instead. So these are the options for you to manage your reviews as in remove them, the process for it, recommendations and reviews. Think of it as the same thing. Moderate your comments because Facebook unfortunately has spam comments. Then follow the options for page roles. And if you believe you've done all the options available, as you followed all the processes, and that particular review is still there and Facebook has decided not to remove the review, then it may be smart then to remove the tab as well. Only then you would remove the tab. Make sense? I thank you very much for learning with Renka. And if you haven't subscribed to Rank Your YouTube channel and you do manage Facebook business page and your website, you definitely should check it out because I have easy to follow tutorials on Rank Your YouTube channel. I also provide services for website optimization and online marketing that you may later on as your business becomes more profitable to hire me so that I can really optimize your website so that you get better results on the internet. I thank you very much for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session.